Hi everyone. So in today's episode, we will learn about scheduled trigger flows, why we use them, why we need them, and what are the benefits of using them. So if you want to launch a trigger flow at a specific time and with a specific frequency. uh for each record you will use scheduled trigger flow basically if you want a task to occur at a specific time or uh to create a record at a specific time or to send an email at a specific time and date then you will use scheduled trigger flows let's uh read what it says it launches at a specific time and frequency for each record in a batch this auto launch flow runs in the background so basically all auto launch flows runs in the background that, that is a general statement for auto launch flows but uh what is the uh, different thing in scheduled trigger flow that it launches at a specific time and frequency with each record in a batch so it works like a batch process okay uh, now let's just create a flow and i'll tell you what we are going to do in this example uh let's click on create and let's make it free form to see all the elements so this is the start button it says schedule trigger flow it asks for two options first is set schedule which is compulsory in this it will ask you uh, the start date and start time like on which date you want to start this uh, flow uh, let's say i will select first fab 2023 and after that it will ask you about the start time so start time uh, is the default time zone of your salesforce org so according to that you can set up the start time when you want to start this flow let's say let's just randomly select 12:15 pm and after that it will ask you frequency so if the frequency is set to once and the start date and time are in the past the flow will not run for other frequencies the flow will run at the next scheduled time so in the frequency we have three options once daily and weekly uh if the frequency is set to once let's say it is once and 12:15 pm is passed because it's 3 uh, 30 pm right now so the flow will not run but if the frequency is daily or weekly then uh, the flow will run on the uh, next schedule time like if it is daily then the flow will run on second fab 12:15 pm okay uh, let's set the frequency at once and done now the second option is optional which is choose object if you want to select the object on the start condition itself like uh, on which object you want to schedule the triggered flow then you can choose that but if you don't want to select the object here you can just leave this option after that you will use get records or other elements to uh, specify which object you are working on okay now let me tell you what is today's scenario so we have a uh, one object which is a domain let's go to sales from more we will select domains okay so i have created an custom object domain what will happen in this object is uh, we are storing the domain names of our clients that are registering domains with us and with that we are uh, adding the few details uh, that we will need in the scheduled trigger flow uh we have added some fields like domain name which is of course compulsory the registration date expiration date user email like the client's email okay uh this is a formula field that i have added i'll talk about it later after that this is a temporary field that i have added to check the date because uh sometimes the date is different in our laptop and in our uh, org because of the time zone difference so just to check the date i have added this after that we have a field which is sent uh this will say yes or no to just check if we have sent the reminder expiration reminder to the user or not then create a date owner and last modified date so uh what happens is we want to send a reminder email to the uh domain user that your domain is expiring in 30 days okay so that uh, they can pay us or they can just uh, renew the domain or if they don't want to renew the domain then we can close it okay so that's why we have added the email here because we want to send the reminder email to the user after that here i have added one formula field i'll show you for uh, one second let's go to objects the same relationships and here's the field expiration date check 
In this field, I have just added a simple formula which is if expiry date equals to today today's date plus 30 if that is then check it otherwise uh, the check will be false why i have added this formula uh, you would say monica we can just uh, check the expiry date field directly uh, in our flow right that uh, if the expiry date uh, function is today plus 30 or not right why we need the checkbox formula so what happens is if you don't know i will just let you know that if you choose the object from here uh, let's say we choose domain here this is our custom object so in this condition if you will uh, select expiry date if you want to check the condition here itself like you don't want to get all the domains you just have to uh, you just want to check the expiration date if the expiration date is uh, plus 30 days then only you want to uh, schedule the trigger and here if you will choose expiry date equals to in values you can see that we have mmddyy format that means we can just add a date directly to it can't add a formula field here like uh, we have added a formula here we can't just use the formula uh, directly you have two options if you don't want to add the uh, other checkbox formula field in the object what you can do is you can just choose the object here let's say you will choose domain and for conditions you will not uh, select any condition you will uh, get all the domains after that you will create a formula field and check if the record uh, dot expiry date is today plus 30 okay but uh, that is a drawback right because uh, here what you are doing is you are getting all the domains like if you have 10 records in your domain object it will get all 10 records and after that it will check the expiry date which is not good which is not a best practice what we can do instead is we can just create a uh, formula field with the return type checkbox and we can check in the formula field itself if the expiry date is one month after today's date then we will uh, go to the schedule trigger flow and for that we need that uh, checkbox formula field and what we will do is we will add that if this formula field equals to true and one, then this formula field will be true when the expiration date will be today plus 30 okay with that what you will do is you will just get those records uh, where the expiration is uh, due to next month let's click on done and after that what we will do is we just want an action element to send an email to the user okay because we have got the user in the start button uh, now what we will do is we will select the action send email and let's write sending reminder email as label and api in the body we will just add a simple text which is your domain will expire please renew to continue using it okay in subject we will write domain expiry reminder email recipient id we have two options collection or comma separated we have only one id as a recipient id of course so we will just uh, take comma separated and for email id we will set record dot email and after that we will add rich text formatted body include and true Okay, so for sender's email, if you will not add sender's email address and sender type, it will take the default uh, user email address. That means it will take the current user which is using the flow, which is running the flow uh, to send the email. But what is the best practice? Best practice is to add an organization wide default email address and use that email address here. And I'm doing exactly that. So my org wide uh, address is my email address which is I am Ramjinani at the gmail.com and for sender type I will write all white email address 
so only if you are using a uh, organization default email address you have to enter the sender type and sender email address otherwise if you are using the current users email address you don't have to fill these uh, fields if you want to check that uh, example as well i'll just uh, ping it down below in the description section and i'll ping it on the i button as well you can check that out and let's click on done so we have added the action button now what we will do is we will add update record element as well because as i told you we have a sent a uh, field as well in which we are saying yes or no to check if the flow has worked correctly and if the email is sent to the correct user so what we will do is we will just update the existing record with the sent field yes mm. updating record okay So how to find the records to update we will use the domain record variable and uh, for conditions we will not add anything and for field we will add sent equals to yes yes means uh, your email has been sent successfully let's click on done and let's connect it now let's just save this flow and let's name it uh, Reminder email. We will save and activate it. But I think activation will not work because uh, this time has passed. So let's just select another time, uh, 11:30 p.m. This is just for an example. I will change the time after checking the default time zone. Activate it. Now let's go to the flow list. We will select flows so here's the flow and uh, in last Spotify we can see a first trap 2023 and the time is 2 10 a.m. so let's quickly change the time here and let's make it 2 15 because it runs on 15 minutes gap to 15 am let's click on done quickly let's just save it and activate it okay now here what we will do is we will just change the expiry date to 3rd march third march 2023 that is where this stamp field works i will just save it otherwise the time will pass and in sent let's say we have added no because we want to check if this is working fine let's save it okay now we just have to wait for four minutes to uh, see if the email is uh, getting to the user Okay, so I got the email here. You can see our title, which is domain expiry uh, reminder. And in this body, we have written your domain will expire after 30 days. Please uh, renew it to continue using it. I have got it on 3.45, which is uh, 2.15 a.m. Uh, according to the time zone of my org. Okay, so that's how you can just schedule uh, your tasks, schedule your emails or schedule your notifications or whatever uh, work you want to do at a specific time and frequency. Uh, you can just schedule it with uh, schedule triggered flows. And now let's just refresh it to see if the send field is changed to yes. And here we can see the send field is changed to yes. That means our flow has worked fine. Uh, let's go to the flow again. So that was today's example. That was schedule triggered flow for you. Uh, that's how you can just schedule your task at a specific time and a specific date as well. If you want, you can add the uh, object and conditions. If you don't want, you can just skip this part. And after that, you can just use get record elements and use other elements as well to uh, let the flow know on what object you're working on right so this was today's example i have uh, some ending notes for you as well 
and I just want to remind you that after every episode, like at the end of it, I have added some notes. So uh, these notes are just not there to be there. Uh, they are of your use. So just read them, keep them in mind and practice, practice and practice. If you have any questions, any queries, you can just uh, ping it down below in the comment section or you can reach out to me on my uh linkedin or on my twitter handle as well uh, i'll see you in the next episode till then bye bye take care and keep learning and don't forget if you like this video click the like button share it with others share it with your friends and uh, your colleagues if you know that uh, they want this video or they want to learn this uh, flow or the series itself i'll see you super soon bye bye take care